your welcome in your maths and i got a new problem so let's prove some formula of gp and gp is something like a a r to the power one a r to the power two and it terms goes to n terms so it's become a r to the power n minus one as in the second or first term it's basically one less than its corresponding term so this is the basically proof of n term of gp now let's prove the sum formula of the GP and the sum of the GP can be written as a plus a r to the power 1 plus a r to the power 2 till a r to the power n minus 1 and when you multiply the whole equation by r you get r s is equals to a r plus a r to the power 2 when you multiply r with a r 1 and then a r 3 and then till a r to the power n when you multiply r with a r to the power n minus 1 now remember one thing that this a r to the power n minus 1 comes something here now when you subtract these two equations you get s minus s r is equals to uh, minus this all terms is become minus this this cancel this cancel this 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 okay all are cancel now so now it and this and this becomes a minus a r to the power n now common s from lhs and a from rhs and solve it out now take minus one common from numerator and denominator and it cancel out and it becomes a bracket r to the power n minus one bracket close upon bracket r minus one close hence proved hopefully you get it so don't forget to like and subscribe